Hello, kamatuklas! Welcome back sa isa na namang pagtuklas ng aralin sa mathematics. Take a look at the various given that is being illustrated. What are your observations? May pagkakaiba ba ang mga given sa yellow at ang mga given sa blue? That is what we will cover in this presentation which is all about illustrating linear inequalities in two variables. And to begin, alamin muna natin kung ano ang mga objectives ng ating presentation. So ito yung mga dapat nating malaman after this presentation. The first one is to illustrate linear inequalities and two variables. So, dapat mas alam natin ano nga ba talaga tong linear inequalities. Second one is to differentiate linear inequalities from linear equations in two variables. Then, determine whether an ordered fair is a solution to the given linear inequalities. To begin, Balikan muna natin yung mga examples kanina. So, kung babalikan natin ito, sabi ko kanina, ano yung napapansin nyo dun sa mga given na yellow at yung mga given na blue? Anong pagkakaiba? So, alamin natin kung ano yan. Yung kulay yellow ay tinatawag nating linear equations. At yung kulay blue naman ay tinatawag nating Linear inequalities. Ano nga bang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Kapag pinag-uusapan natin ng linear equations, equals yung titignan natin. So kapag may symbol na equal sign, like this one, so sa lahat ng mga examples na naipakita, so may equal sign. So yan yung tinatawag na linear equation. On the other hand, kailan naman linear inequalities? So, isa-isay natin yung given. So, kung mapapansin natin sa unang given, so, ito yung symbol. So, tandaan, ang symbol na yan ay less than. So, isa yan sa mga symbol na ginagamit sa linear inequalities. Second given tayo, ito yung symbol, which is, greater than. So, particular naman tayo sa mga symbol na gagamitin natin para lang mas malaman natin ano nga bang kaibahan ng linear equations at linear inequalities. Next naman, itong symbol na to ay less than or equal to. Siyempre, yung sumunod, less than pa rin yan, same with this. Then, the last is greater than or equal to. So, yan ang iba't ibang symbol na gagamitin natin para makonsider that that is what we call a linear inequality. Mas alamin natin, what is linear inequalities? A linear inequality in two variables is an inequality that can be expressed in one of the following forms. So, pwedeng kahit aling forms sa apat na ito. Ax plus by is less than 0 gamit yung symbol na pinakita natin kanina. Pwede rin namang Ax plus by is greater than 0. Pwede rin Ax plus by is less than or equal to 0. Or Ax plus by is greater than or equal to 0. Pero ang condition where A and B are not both 0. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng parehas zero yung A and V. So, let's continue knowing about this. The solution of a linear inequality in two variables like AX plus BY is greater than C is an ordered fair X comma Y that produces a true statement when the value of X and Y are substituted into the inequality. So, magko-concentrate tayo dun sa true statement. Kailan? True statement. So, mamaya sa examples natin, makikita natin kung kailan 
yung tinatawag nating solution siya ng linear inequality. Then, kung sa previous video natin, we have the solving linear equation. So, solving linear inequality is similar to solving linear equations. So, kung pamilyar na tayong mag-solve ng linear equations, same process lang yung gagawin natin. The only difference is the inequality symbol. So, simulan na natin sa examples. Let's begin with this one. Determine whether each of the ordered pair is a solution of x minus 4y is less than 5. So, simulan natin dito sa ordered pair na ito, 2 comma 4. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay alamin natin ang value ng x and y. So, alam naman natin na ito ang value ng x or 2. Then, ito naman yung value ng y, y which is 4. So, gamit yung ating inequality. So, isa-substitute natin yung itong, itong 2 dito sa x, itong 4 dito sa y. Kaya, magiging 2 galing dito. So, we have that minus 4 times 4. Okay, is less than 5. Then, perform the operation. So, syempre, ito yung pwede natin i-perform. So, copy lang natin yung 2 minus 16. 2 minus 4 times 4 is 16. So, we have that less than 5. Then, 2 minus 14 is negative 14 is less than 5. Ang tanong, ang negative 14 ba ay talagang less than sa 5? So, totoo naman, kaya yan ay true. Hence, 2 comma 4, itong itinatanong natin na 2 comma 4 is a solution of x minus 4y is less than 5. Kasi nga, true siya na less than after substitution. Pero hindi lamang ito yung pwedeng maging solution ng x minus 4y is less than 5. Marami yan. So this is just an example. Let's have another one. How about this ordered pair? 1 comma negative 2. So, gamit ang same inequality. So, ito naman ang value ng x at ito yung value ng y. So, substitute ulit natin. So, 1 minus 4 times negative 2 is less than 5. So, perform the operation. Kaya magiging 1. Then, ito negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. So, pag in natin yan, 9 is less than 5. So, totoo ba na ang 9 ay less than 5? Hindi. Kaya false. Kung false yan, therefore, 1 comma negative 2 is not a solution of x minus 4y is less than 5. So in other words, kapag naging true, then we will consider that that is a solution at kapag namang false after computing it, so hindi naman siya solution. Let's have another example. How about this one? Determine whether each of the ordered pair is a solution of 2x minus 3y is greater than less than negative 4. Given naman ang ordered pair na ito, 1 comma 2. So, ganun ulit tayo. Ang x natin ay 1, ang y natin ay 2. Substitute natin, kaya magiging 2 times 1, which is the value of x, and minus 3 times 2, which is the value of y. Greater than less than or less than negative 4. So, 2 times 1 is 2. This one is 6. So, 2 minus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 4. And 2 minus 6 is negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Dahil or naman yan, tumama siya dun sa equal. Hence, this is true. Kaya, ang 1 comma 2 is a solution of 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Let's have another ordered pair. 4 comma negative 3. Same inequality. Magiging 2 times 4 tayo dito. Dito naman, minus 3 times negative 3 is greater than or equal to negative 4. 2, time, two times 4 is 8. This one is positive 9. Kaya 8 plus 9 is greater than or equal to negative 4. And 8 plus 9 is 17, is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, totoo ba na ang 17 ay greater than? Yes, sa negative 4. So, true pa rin ito. So, we will still consider that 4 comma negative 3 is a solution of 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 4. 
Sabi ko kanina, hindi lamang laging isa lang ang solution, kundi basta magiging true, it can be a solution. So I hope nagiget natin. So try nga natin ito. Try this. Determine whether 4 comma negative 3 is a solution of 2x plus y is less than equal or equal to 8. So in 10 seconds, let's begin. Time is up. So, ano ang inyong naging sagot? So, kung ito ang inyong sagot, you are correct. So, ibig sabihin, solution ang 4 comma negative 3. Kasi true na ang 2 ay less than sa 8. Okay, let's have this one. About this one, determine whether 2 comma negative 1 is a solution of 4x plus 2y is greater than 10. So in 10 seconds, go. Time is up. So, let's check. Tingnan nyo ang inyong sagot. Kung ito ang sagot nyo, which is not a solution, na hindi solution ng 2 comma negative 1, you are correct. So, I hope natuto na tayo sa illustrating linear inequalities and two variables. That's all, kamato class. God bless us.